Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to M&B Bass Fishing. Today I got a review of a chest mount that is for GoPro and for your phone that I ordered from Amazon for only $15. We're going to see if this thing is any good. So I've already like tested it out and everything, but I, I went ahead and took it back apart. Uh, so that way like I could show you like the assembly and like how good it is and everything. And, um, I recommend not having a phone case because it kind of, um, makes it a little bit heavy. Uh, I'd only put, like, three pounds on it. And, this is the phone that we are going to be hooking on to it today. It's a Samsung Galaxy S4. So, it's pretty old. I actually just got the S20. So, pretty big difference. So, first thing that you're going to see is, like, the little components... Which would actually be um, this thing right here, but this thing it actually I can't get it to snap back off. This thing right here will also come with it, like this little knob thing, which is for your GoPro. Uh, so both of those will come in a little bag like this, depending on which one you get. And you will also find one of these, and it's like a little manual on what it's for. And um, you know, just some assembly and everything what it looks like um, product features so yeah we're gonna get like a little instruction manual if there's any more pages kind of tells you like how to set it up and everything and it looks like you can buy different attachments because it has that screw where you can put on different um, tripods or uh, attachments like for your GoPro for your phone then it will, it will also come in this bag uh, with the strap thing, which is this, like the whole mount. Um, and then, so now that we got that through, and this is actually the product uh, QR code, something barcode. You can just type in that number on Amazon and you can find it. I'm going to try and put the link in the description to this. Uh, my friend also got one. This is the same, but he did not get that extra phone attachment. So now we're going to go through setup and assembly. Alright, so it's going to come just like this. And so you're going to want to snap this piece onto this. It kind of like slides into that. And then you're going to take this piece right here. Going to take the bottom where the screw is. You should see like a little screw bit right here. You are literally just going to twist it on there smoothly. And you're just going to do that until it gets tight. And it might feel like it's going to break, but it will not. You want to do this as tight as you can. One more. Alright, so now that we have this thing on pretty tight, um, you are going to want to, so to put it on, you unstrap this part right here, um, put that around your waist, put this part right here over your head, and then once you have that, so right now, so you want the mount to where it's not going to like slide around. By the way, this is adjustable, like it, this thing will turn around at different angles, complete 360 rotation. Then it will also do that. That's as far as it's going to go down. And then, um, another cool feature is it has this little tightening knob, so you screw it all the way back in reverse to open up the mechanism, which pretty good size mechanism. Feels pretty springy, which is good. You want it to feel nice and smooth as it's going up and down. And then um, once you've got your phone in there, you're going to twist this knob all the way till it gets tight. And that will lock it. So that way it's not going to go up and down anymore. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put the phone in there. Um, put this phone in there. And this thing actually comes with some rubber grips on all of them. Comes with one right there, one right there, one right there, then one right there, which is very convenient for phone grip. 
in here. We are actually going to go ahead and put this on me so that we can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And we may have to do some adjusting here. Um, it is adjustable. Yeah, as you can see, it's squeezing the daylight out of me. Right. So now, it should look just like this if you have it on the right way. Just like that going around you and then two straps going over your head all right so now um how to get like it uh set up for recording so you're gonna pick like um how far up you want it adjusted so in this case um, i'm probably gonna do mine like to right here or maybe like to there yep and then you're just gonna twist this knob super super tight and it's gonna be this knob right here want to um, do, do that thing as tight as possible and this thing will give out just a little bit but um, it's just enough to where it will keep the phone in a steady position and as you can see I have the camera on it set up so we're gonna go ahead and start taking some video Yeah, so this is what it would look like. I do have to do some adjustments, kind of loosen it up a little bit. But, you know, you can kind of like adjust like how far up you would like it. You want it nice and even just like this. And as you can see, so like if I were to go like into the store, um, film me like a fishing video, have it like this. They can see like what items you're touching and everything. And yeah, all that. So, that is how you use it, and we want to twist this knob tight so that way it secures the phone, and it won't go anywhere. Um, so based off of how I've used it so far, I did use this a little bit ago, like today, because I got it in the mail today, but I did actually like try it on and everything. Um, so, this is a pretty easily assemb um, assembled item. Uh, I don't really think that you need like a YouTube video to assemble this. Um, pretty easy. But yeah, so this thing would be great for fishing. And again, this thing only cost me t uh, $15. And it also comes with pretty good straps too. And these are stretchy straps. So they're pretty good for like adjusting. Um... And then I might actually take the video off of this phone that I'm actually filming right now. So that way you guys can kind of like get an idea of like the level that it would film from this way. So just so that we like you guys can kind of like see the footage from this thing. I might. I don't know if I will yet. But yeah, so it's all together a really, really good quality item. Now, there probably are better quality ones, but I mean, this one right here, I mean, it, I, I don't see, like, what, like, any problems with this one yet. Um, I mean, everything looks pretty good so far. So, yeah, I'm satisfied with this thing. Like I said, paid $15 for it. Um, I also have another tripod. This is stand up on the ground. Um, yeah, that's the assembly, so, um, my reviews, so, to me, everything is good on this. This is actually my second one. I used to have one of these, like, a few years back. I lost it, so then I ordered another one, and, um, yeah, this is a pretty good purchase. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10 for $15. You cannot possibly beat it. Um, they do have some that are like $10, but those ones are not going to be like quite as durable as this one. And you'll want as much durability as possible when you're filming, because like when you're, when you walk around, you don't want that much vibration in it. 
like you don't want your phone like going like that so yeah pretty good um like I said these are all the bags that came in and everything um, cost $15 so if you guys like this video uh, make sure to subscribe we are going to be doing some more bass fishing with this and surf fishing on the beach so if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe. Peace out.